Hey guys, it's Skybird, and I've got some exciting news for you guys. So, while I was asleep, I found out, well, I didn't find it out while I was asleep, that'd have been weird. Uh, but I found out that while I was asleep, my LEGO idea submission got approved. It has officially 14 supporters so far, which doesn't sound like much, sure, but I haven't advertised it at all. So, this is all purely organic uh, people just finding it on the site. I'm really happy about that. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look over there and then I will link this in the description as well Do me a big favor if you would even if you don't do anything else I ask you to do but you can always subscribe <laughs> uh, But go over to this uh, and sign up if you're not signed up for um, Lego, I, I think you just need a Lego account. That's all it's free, you know uh, But log in and yeah, just support it show it some support So this is the build that I submitted the Atlantic ghost crab and Carolina green and Knoll. why did I do both because it's cute. <laughs> These are both based on builds that you've already seen in previous videos, but suffice to say, the Anol specifically is based on the little running lizard that you can see here. The crab, of course, is based on my Benora crab platform, then my modernized crab. So it's essentially just like super modern Puku. <laughs> and I'm really happy about it. Obviously, I wanted to take a lot of inspiration from the real life creature because I see this as an educational opportunity, right? And so this isn't just something fun to build and play around with. Yes, both of these creatures have functions. Yes, they both run around and move their legs. The crab scuttles side to side. The lizard runs front to back, right? But also, you know, these are based on real life animals. And I feel like this could provide further interest and, and further value, let's say, if it was denoted as an educational theme, or if not theme, at the very least a set, right? You can sort of think of it like the old, oh goodness, if I could only remember what those fish, um, static fish things were called, um, a few years ago, maybe five or more years ago at this point, Lego came out with these Technic fish that had these like vinyl skins wrapped over them and then you'd have like a crank or something in the base and they would you know swim or whatever and obviously that was not a huge success although they're really neat in my opinion i think mostly it was down to the fact that it has these skins on it and i'm not opposed to that but it does you know rub some people the wrong way and fair enough um i think it's a smart way to obviously get something that looks aesthetically pleasing while using few parts but that's why i designed the crab the way i did so this doesn't rely on any sort of like vinyl sheets or anything like that all of the pieces that are used in here currently exist from lego just some recolors of course to denote that this is in fact a real life creature now you can see on the back of the creature that it is a sand blue color that's just to pay reference to the fact that these crabs often have like a bluish coloration in the back. I feel like if Lego did this, they'd probably do yellow panels on the back with like either printing with like a bluish color or stickers, which would probably be preferable so you can remove them and move them elsewhere, right? But suffice to say, really happy with the design of this. I think it's exactly 250 pieces as well, so it's not like a crazy endeavor. It's just a fun, exciting set that is both a learning experience in the form of a mechanism and a learning experience in the form of these creatures. And I think that that's honestly the best that it can do for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. I want to keep this one relatively short so you all can just get on over there and support it. And of course, if you want to subscribe, you can. I'm not going to stop you. I physically can't stop you. <laughs> but <laughs> outside of that, of course, if you want to show some support elsewhere, hey, make sure to share this video and, um, you know, you can engage with this one in the comments as well. Maybe we can push it a little bit further. And uh, yeah, every every little bit, every little extra pair of eyes on it helps. So of course you can find my Discord, Instagram, and Patreon all linked in the description as well if you want to support the channel and get some perks. And of course this build right here. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.